everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So today, um, we're going to go ahead and take a mission. Um, and I'm going to roll the bones on this one and we're going to try something interesting. Now we've updated to 1.7 Hotfix 2. Um, we've got our, uh, if we go to the mech bay real quick, we have got the ability to, dun dun dun, see the yellow text. I apologize. Once again, I can't remember who it was that had mentioned it to me that I should load it twice to make sure the yellow text loaded. And I did. I said, yeah, sure, no problem. And I didn't do it. I don't, I don't know why. But I, it's the yellow text is back now so we can at least see what all the components can do and all that stuff. So, uh, yes, thank you for that. Uh, you reminded me today. So when I updated, I made sure I did that uh, just to make sure that it was functioning. Uh, so that's back. I read all the comments, great comments about the potential loadouts for mechs. Um, and you know, I agree with a lot of them. The only issue that I've got right now is, like I said, I don't have a lot of the components that I need to do what I need to do. So, um, while the Ultra 5, Ultra 2 build on the Centurion might be great, I, I don't even have Ultras, I don't need, let, let alone ammo. Um, what I do have is an LBX-10 and one ton of ammo and three LBX-2s with no ammo. So, like, I mean, I, I can kind of do stuff, but I kind of can't. Like, I could just slap it together and have something to run. Basically, like our Urban Mech Lance is right now. But um, until we get more components, you know, we're going to have an issue. So, um, speaking of components, hoping to get new, uh, new and good components, we're going to go to Command Center today. And we're going to go down and we're going to do this mission here. Hide the evidence, two and a half skulls. This could be a really bad idea or it could be a really good idea. I have no idea. Uh, they've changed the difficulty settings now so that the chances of having uh, better allies or more difficult enemies uh, or more lances spawn depends on your uh, lance rating versus the rating of the mission you take. So if we take a higher skull mission, which is this one, we should have better allies with us or having a higher chance of getting better allies. And if we were to take, let's say, a, a half skull mission, then the enemies would have greater chances of spawning in extra extra allies or we might not spawn in with allies at all. So they've tried to balance it that way. I think that's great. I think it's fantastic. We're going to see how it works out here. We're going to try and hide the evidence. Um, like I said, this is all going to depend on where we drop. If we drop at a good distance, we've got a good chance of pulling this off. If we drop like on the base, it could just be a shit show and we're in a big, a lot of trouble, but I'm going to roll the bones and try it anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and negotiate this. Going to go full salvage and accept. I'm hoping for good components here. So we're going to go with our main lance and deploy and get the sucker done. Uh, yeah, I know the archer. Okay, looks like we're a good distance away. Uh, looks like we landed with some, some guys on our side too, and they're with us as opposed to like being on the base, which is probably good. Uh, honor fighting here alongside you. Yeah, okay, well, you're, you're pirates. Why is there any honor? Uh, okay, so destroy facility 2. Uh, and a base garrison. So it looks like there might only be one lance. Maybe a reinforcement lance? Uh, yeah. I don't recognize this map though where we are. So the settings they've changed. They've separated uh, the map size and randomized landing zones which I had mentioned would be a good uh, change which they did which which they went ahead and did I don't I highly unlikely it was because of me but um, Acknowledged. the fact that they went ahead and did that that's friggin great now um, uh, so if you wanted to have regular landing uh, spots you can go ahead and do that or you could have randomized landing spots and regular map size don't go that way where are you guys going what do we got here? Okay, I gotta see what our allies are here. Uh, where are you? Large laser in a non-functioning LRM-10. 
high explosive thunderbolts probably not with a lot of ammo either what are you carrier thunderbolts LRM 15s that's really nice and LRM dead fires oh a lot of LRMs nice uh, that's probably going to come in handy since they're not moving forward. On my way. Yeah, so like I said, I'm really kind of glad they've added that uh, that feature. Moving out. Um, they got a support lance and a base garrison. Uh, where would the support lance be? Probably with the base, maybe? I don't know. Don't know if I want to go ahead and get in too close yet. Let's get to here anyway. Affirmative. I want the option to be able to just... Okay, we've got... Uh, so they can either see us. I don't see anything back here. Uh, nothing over here. All right, well... Um, Let's sprint it down, hopefully get behind something here so they can't direct direct line of sight us. All quiet in the western front, all right. Yeah, so they made a nice bunch of minor tweaks to it, uh, to the game. Beautiful, really love it. Okay, let's get you into here. Hopefully that's behind the hill. Pretty sure it will be. Yeah get into striking position if we spot somebody. Okay, our lamb goes on 14. Alright, finally got somebody up. Now, I might have made some tweaks to the lances uh, since it's been several days since I've uh, I've played. It's been like four days through the long weekend. Well, long weekend in Canada. Oh, bushwhacker. Um, don't want to Artemis this guy. Yeah. Start that off. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, nice. It's penetrated. Beautiful. I have no idea where, but we punched through somewhere. That's the clustering. Yeah, the arm. See how very little it hits the torso and the leg? The bonus clustering on this archer is devastating. So I think I put the advanced AMS onto the archer, if I'm not mistaken. The idea was to cover the archer and the dervish from long-range fire. Now, I've only got one ton of ammo, so it's, a, it's an issue. We'll burn through that relatively quickly. Standing by. All right, B, uh, we need to get some eyes on, or at least sensors on. Uh, we could go into here. Looks like that's behind the hill. Let's do that. See what we're up against here. Okay, we got a chopper. Not bad chance to hit. Uh can't use the barrage on it. I want to shift this up though before I forget. I'm pretty sure it does change the chance to hit if we fire that first. And go. Okay, tag was on. Couple hits. Not bad. What do we got back here? Valkyrie? Alright. So that looks like a Gauss rifle on there. Could be a light Gauss. What was that? Triple shot, something or other. Come on, buddy. Drop some of the lerms. No, guess not, eh? I think he's got dead fire, though. LRM5s, probably? Prowler? Okay, so not so bad for three skull or two and a half skulls. Not so bad. It could be out of range too, those guys. 
At least they're moving forward, though. That's one of the turrets. Probably LRM turret. Another turret with LRMs. Oh, chaff ammo. Okay. It's got a mortar. This guy's behind the base. Standard LRM turret. Okay, so it looks like only two turrets can shoot at us. Ready to get it on. I hope so. Minefield on the way. Too bad I took those jump jets off for you. Now we can't get down this hill. Look at that sucks. Let's get around to here. Understood. Moving fast. It's gonna end up being a long range battle if we're not careful. Can we finish up this yellow jacket? Uh, we can't even hit it. Because of course we can't. Yeah, I guess it's only the barrage we can use on these guys. So let's, uh, if that's all we can use, let's just go ahead and target the ground. Let's drop it in here. Roger. See if that does anything. I don't know if they'll uh, move out of the way. They probably will, but... Mm, let's not go that way. Let's get up here. Now, question is, this is the what? This is the, uh, it's a yellow jacket over there too? Okay. Did we lose the, uh, that's the prowler. That's a prowler. We lost the, um, the mech. I wanted to drop some thunder on him. All right, well, let's just see what the best chance to hit we have here. 30, 37 on the Prowler. Probably go against the Chopper, even though it's not the best chance to hit. 30, 28. Let's go against the, the uh, this Yellow Jacket, because he's damaged. He's got a blood. Oh, yeah. Got the Gauss Rifle. Let's see if we can get this. We might get lucky and hit the side. Got 35 missiles. Okay, exposed structure. Okay, there's the whacker. Just in time for my uh, my archer. The wild Cree. He's illuminated, but ain't helping the many. We have a way down over here. Right here, I guess. So we're just going to move this way, I think. Here, as far as we can go. Got a shot on the bushwhacker, I think, still. Ooh, I'm liking that. I wonder if we do an offensive push, see if we can blow his arm off. AC-10 Myrmidon. Or Myrdron. Myrd... Ron, uh, whatever. I can't pronounce it. Firing. <laughs> I give up. Uh. No shit, eh? I think that was a torso hit. He torsoed him, I think. It was probably the uh, left torso. Sorry, I had to think about that for a second. Left torso. Let's go after this chopper. Lifting off. Saving our barrage. Uh, we've got enough resolve now, so let's go ahead and use it. And how are we doing here? Rotary AC5. Let's get everything on this guy because, damn. Good chances to hit. Taking him. Tags on. Might as well spread that damage around. There's no point in putting it in one spot, eh? Oh, Centurion. Nice. 15 from 15. Ah, look at that. Ah, well, we did good damage to it, even though I only had 8 up here, but 
whatever. Good thing she's got like eight chevrons of evasion though. Good luck with that. Oh, light mortar carrier. Don't like that. Three mortars. Okay, here comes our carrier with no, with no shots. Prowler. So we got what? Three mechs against this? Right? Two choppers, two prowlers, mortar carrier, three mechs, and I'm missing something. There's something else there. Unless I'm mathing this wrong. Oh yeah, man. Oh, you didn't kill him though. Good damage. Oh, never mind. I take it back. You'd think I'd be smart enough not to open my mouth by now, but, uh... So I think these vehicles do, uh... I think the vehicles do know about the barrage location. They move out of them. It's a good area denial weapon though if you don't want them coming down a certain spot. But by the time we get to the base we should have our barrage back anyway so not worried about it. We could jump in and target the base with a barrage but I don't want to subject uh, Queen Bee to all that fire. Something got hit. Didn't say any crits or anything. Ooh, there's an AC turret there somewhere. Or oh, that could have been the chopper. I think that was the chopper with the rack. No, it's a heavy rifle position. Okay. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can finish this guy up. And then we'll get out of here. Not enough. That's gonna hurt. I think that's far enough away from the turrets. Just jump back here. Good job. Screw you! Can we get down here? We can. Okay. I'm gonna keep moving forward then. Moving out. Wanna close the distance between us and these mechs a little bit. Uh we could take out the chopper. You know one thing they could do? I'm gonna throw this out again. I don't know if the Rotec people are listening, but when you got everything targeted like that and you hit tab, it should go to the the vehicle that you have the best chance to hit first. I don't know if you can calculate that or not, but that would be the uh my thing. Or maybe that's what it did. Looks like that might be the case though. That's the best, yeah. Looks like that was the case in this one. I don't know if that's the case all the time, but maybe I'm just not seeing it. Most likely that's the case. It's just I'm not seeing it. Alright, let's see if we can finish this guy up. He's got the rack, so... <sighs> really? Really? Get that HE on him. Comes a Centurion. So, I wonder if he's got a light goss. We might be able to strip his loadout. That would be cool. Alright, let's get down in this battle. They're really dropping minefields on you, eh? Four points. Not that bad. Go against the chop. I don't know if we're in range to do this. Oh yeah. Uh, let's just fire. On ah well. No joy. I've got, you know, I've been thinking about change, well there we go, beautiful. Thinking about changing the loadout on the, uh, Man Shen to, uh, it'd be nice, someone mentioned maybe putting MML-10 launchers in. I think that's a beautiful idea. The problem is, is I don't have, uh, 
any MML tens, but that's fine. I mean, like that is a that is a really good loadout though, because then I can go long range and short range weapons, which is what that thing should. I mean, it should be able to fire at distance because a lot of our battles are long range at the moment. Uh. Yeah, let's just take the best chance to hit. See if we can shred this guy. Say goodbye. If we cluster in the right spot, we could kill him. Nope. Let's open a pen. I think we got a CT though. Let's open a penetrated torso. Also, the other oh, we did. We hit his torso. Uh, also, the other day I was mentioning I couldn't figure out why the arrow ammo was giving me the same chance to hit as the standard ammo. Arrow ammo really only works in direct fire. That I didn't know right away, but I, I do now. It makes more sense, though. Arrow really should have line of sight to the target. Which is great. I mean, like, that percentage chance to hit is so much higher on the uh, arrow ammo and direct line of sight. It's beautiful. Especially at range like this. If I can get more of that ammo, I'll just jam it in there and remove the standard ammo. Because it'll have the same chance to hit as standard ammo indirect fire-wise anyway, so... Ah, shit, what are you using? Smoke? Well, that's some kind of... Oh, there's the barrage coming in now. Feels like that was a little late, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, uh, how do I want to do this now? I don't know that we need to push these guys. They're coming after us. Uh, let's be in the trees, though. Can we get over? Oh, come on. Oh, that's down there. I thought that was up here. Let's stay up here. Get up a little higher. Stay on the hill. There's no point in pushing them right now. It's just going to mean damage for us. Uh, do we concentrate on the Centurion? Light mortar carrier. Not the best chances to hit. How much armor does this thing have? I don't know. Um, this is the guy that's been raining down. Uh, let's just fire on him. He's been raining down um, minefields on us, so... We can remove him, that'd be good. I'm just worried about losing too much off that Centurion. I think I'm going to do a, uh, a uh, called shot. Oh, he's going into the... Uh, yeah, it figures. Good movement on that guy, though. Ooh, he's an Inferno. You need more practice. Yeah, he got close, though. You are sorely out of position. Yeah, smoke screen. It'd be nice to have those to be able to use on the uh, Copy that. on turrets. Like if we're pushing a base, you drop a smoke so most smoke screen on their en on the enemy turrets. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, I'm liking the fact that, they, the, that we can engage from all uh, all ranges now. Let's get into here. See if we can take this truck out. Boom. Don't have enough for uh, stability, but we're going to fire on this guy. Going to leave the barrage off. Ooh, that's a little hot, eh? All right, two ER mediums off. Just use the pulses. Ah. It's going to be three turns before this is back. That's fine. Let's go see if we can hit him. Tag marked. Beautiful. He's taking the barrage, so I don't have to worry about him now. 
and the next turn he's going to be pooched. Yeah, baby. Loving those countermeasures. Talk to me. Ah, uh, he's giving you the other side. He's giving you the other side, buddy. Forty-four with the Artemis, although his leg is heavily hit. We might get lucky. Let's save this for when we have a better chance to hit. Uh, incendiary? Light Goss, ER Medium, LRM 15, Artemis. Not very hot. Put the MRMs on as well. Let's just fire it all. I don't know how toasty he got. I don't know how toasty he got. We'll find out here in a second, though, I think. Uh, not really. He was booking it, though, so not much I can do about that. All right. Ooh, carrier. Work on his stability if you can. Maybe we can knock his ass down. That'd be nice. So we'll get the men Shen to move over and flank these guys. Hopefully we can get some side shots in the Valkyrie and take it down. Either that or we'll go after the Prowler. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. Oh, nice shot at the large laser. We'll take that. As long as you don't blow that torso off, I'm happy. Where did that come? Oh, laser turret back here. Okay, he's got his smoke going. Should have maybe waited till after the rest of your turrets fired, but whatever. All you're doing is making it easier for me, I think. Flanking maneuver. Gonna walk it, give me a better chance to hit, because we'll be relatively in relatively good range here. That's a pretty good shot in the uh, Prowler. What else do we got here? It's not bad either. That could be a killing blow. If we get lucky. Centurion's out of the question, I think. So are you. How much armor does this Prowler have? Nothing. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead on him. Firing on target. Not enough. Good damage, though. Guess I could have used the rocket pack on him. Kind of saving it for the turrets, though. Sure, buddy. Sure. I think we need to move a little bit. Um, we got range in the turrets too from back here, which is kind of nice. Let's get over here. I don't know. I'm considering pulling the thunder ammo off this. I don't know. How, uh, it does still doesn't seem to be all that useful. I'm gonna drop a minefield on this guy to see how we can do here. He's got two armor left in the leg, so if he moves. I mean, we got a half-decent chance of being able to rip that leg off, I hope. What are you doing? Besides turning your back to me to die. Oh, looks like he just turned to face us. Barely a scratch. He took some damage.
we got a chance to pull that other torso in. Now, I don't think he's running an XL engine. Yeah, more minefields. Lovely. Appreciate it. All right, Hopper. I've got your back. See ya. Get my front too, buddy. Affirmative. Hopefully stay away from that fire if we can. Still not the best chances to hit. Uh, what's the... Uh, 70 percent's nice. Let's take a gamble. If we get if we get a shot on this guy, if we get that leg, it'll cluster and blow it right off. Looks like we did. Well, we got the whole thing. Apparently he was running an XL, looks like. Either that or, well, he had Goss ammo and LRM ammo. Don't think the LRM ammo was on the uh, right side. It was probably on the left, so most likely he had an XL engine. Wasn't expecting that. So much for the salvage. Um... What can we do here? Let's get into here. Let's go ahead and vigilance. Let's go ahead and shoot this frickin' prowler. How much can we get on this guy? Nope, not all of it. Uh, we'll get these though. Tags on. Not enough. Good damage though. Take it. Go to critical hit. Yeah, that thing's still under power. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Ten tons of weaponry isn't a whole lot. Thank you for hitting me too, by the way, you ass. Um yeah, ten tons of weaponry isn't a whole lot, so. Don't know what we put on that. Chaff. What if we kill that vehicle? Oh, not quite, but hell of a lot of damage. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's clean this up. Gonna go here first. Um Gonna leave the risks off, I think. Just go back to standard ammo. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we should turn it back on again because chances to hit are garbage and firing. Wow. Awaiting orders. Feeling like a champion. E. Let's just fire these three. Target locked. Okay, one hit. Then we'll jump out of there. Let's get back out of the range of their uh, turrets. Hopefully. Got the AMS on them. Nice. Guy's being a jerk. the chance on this guy 85 of the Artemis huh uh, starting on the turrets maybe uh, maybe not they're still so far away 57 on this guy though he's not really a threat this is the guy up on the hill. Um, let's go this route. Target confirmed. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Your 
popped him like a zit. <laughs> Sorry, that was just so beautiful. Oh, he's not. He's he's gonna feel that in the morning. That's for sure. Um, okay, our barrage is back. Let's clip this mortar vehicle out of here. Heading out. Let's just clip this guy out of here. Uh, let's go lasers. Save the uh, the uh, ammo for the uh, for the turrets and firing. There we go. I was worried there for a second we didn't get him. God, that vehicle just flew up in the air like that. Okay, you guys can hopefully finish this guy up. We just got turrets after this. Ooh. Bonnie, you gonna move up, huh? Come on, hit him. Look at all those LRMs. Your turn. Get him. Eh. What kind of sad ass shot was that? Ow. Sounded like airburst. Good to go. Alright, we can't actually close in the base until uh we get rid of these guys, so. Let's get this guy to check out. Here it comes. Target yeah. Scored a critical hit. That was the fresh side though, so. Just don't hit me. Damn you. Minimal damage on that hit. I saw some orange. Okay, let's close. Let's close the uh, gap here. Not gonna fire yet. Well, can't anyway. Just gonna hang back there, are you? You just hang out for a minute. That'll keep my heat down. Sure will. Here we come. Affirmative. I want these turrets because I want the sea bills. I, don't, I like if, if I didn't want the sea bills, I just jump in, spot the turrets, wreck them from a distance, and then jump out again. Ooh, they can see me. This heat is cooking my internal structure. Yeah, you're gonna get the hell out of there in a second. Got something you want done? They don't call you a hot shot for nothing. <laughs> uh, Roger. Get back here. There we go. Finally got that turret up. LRMs. Dual mortar. Hammer them. Wait, what do we got? Uh, dead fire, thunder, chaff. Let's go with... How... Well, 22%. We should get... Well, you know what. Let's go chaff on this guy and standard with everything else. Hopefully we get one hit with the chaff. And then the rest will have a better chance to hit. Right? Or wait. Just no, chaff decreases their chance to hit, right? Whatever. We're gonna kill it anyway, so that's all that matters. Get my front too, buddy. Back in front. Going with the incendiary. Let's cook them. Roger that. Burn you bastards. Commander. Um let's get that barrage up. Uh it's a minefield. DLOS there, but we're not gonna do that. Um let's get over here. Engaging dump jet. Make it harder for them to target me. 
and brace. Going to go in for a barrage in a minute. I think the Min Shin's battle is done. Yeah, if I had MML5s, even for the Min Shin, I would put those on. Oh. Enemy contact. Let's just sit here. Cool off. How many turrets are going to see us? So that's the question. Although, our evasion chance is so high. Let's do this. Okay. Receiving you. Keep dropping that heat, Bubba. Keep dropping that heat. God, so many minefields. I feel like I'm walking into a minefield here. Keep working on the same turret. See if we can get rid of them this turn. Um back to standard good damage That's going to hurt. not enough to kill though yes, Commander. oh this is beautiful uh, like right there I think with the barrage. Target confirmed. Oh, we missed one turret. Oh, we got two buildings though, so that's fine. Um, where's my jump? You can bring my jump back at any point. Any point at all. It's fine. Moving to position. We'll get our stability back. Get a direct line of sight of that that gun turret. Let's get over here. Let's Kentucky Fried Chicken this guy. Here it comes. See ya. Well, it's probably a good thing we didn't get him in the circle. You don't need to. I wonder if those guys are going to help out with the turrets eventually. Nice. Yeah, they can't see us. Stay indirect on them. Let's get this gun turret right here. Heavy rifle, two mediums. Actually, let's see what they've got here. Heavy and two mediums, large, two mediums, and a machine gun. LRM dead fire. Well, you're not hitting anything from there. All right, let's hit this guy. All right, got a little bit. What's up, boss? I think you can probably start moving up now. Problem is, you need direct line of sight. Although I don't think—I mean, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Once we take those turrets out, and get that barrage in from him. All right, Hopper. Talk to me. Roger that. We're working on this turret over here, buddy. Although that's going to be in the barrage. Let's let the barrage hit. This one's kind of resisting um, us moving in closer. The dead fire turret's behind the building. Okay, nice start. Aye, aye. Wow, eh? No place that can't see us. Those two turrets cover each other pretty well. That third one's covered us from over there. I 
I mean, we could try and just target the, uh, the front turret. Is there a way to just do the front? Yeah, they got some pretty good cover arcs, but this one's pretty good right here. It's not bad. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. Targeting this one. Gonna go with it all and firing. Engaging target. He'll take the barrage this turn too. Enemy structure is weakening. Yeah, man. So hopefully that, that light goss will show up in the um, in the uh, loot table. I doubt it, but. I don't know. I, I, from what I remember, though, it's like it's it's brutal because it's so weighty. It's got great range, but it's very very weighty, so it's kind of unwieldy. Uh, I think we go this road again. Let's put it right. Yeah. No weapon can fire. That weapon can fire. Is it out of range? Is that what it is? Oh, I can't see it. Let's just barrage the turret. Or the uh, building, I mean. That works. They don't have indirect, so we can keep pushing up a little bit here. Let's see if we can pull this turret down. Firing. Now I got 40 more coming in a second. I'm going to use the incendiaries on that guy again. I don't know, maybe not. Oh, I'll have to, I guess. Let's just stay out of the uh, direct line of sight. Target this guy. Here it comes. Incendiary should wreck this guy, I think. Look at the damage. Wow. See ya. Target destroyed. Burn, you bastard. Commander. Let's go after this building. Nicely done. Nicely done. There we go. Let's hop back here. Good to go. Two more turrets and one building left. We're almost done here. Ready for order. All right, let's hard hard uh, shoot up this uh, turret over here. Rearrange though, that's a good question. You should all be able to shoot on them though, so it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, I mean, whatever. Might as well use the rockets now. I don't think we're going to get another chance after this, so firing. Yeah, not bad. A little more than I expected. Are you? Do we direct line? I don't think we have to direct line to sight this. There's no reason to uh, put more than one mech in, in jeopardy here. All right, learn bomb this guy. You got that right. 40 coming in a second. Alright, V. Yes, uh, jump first. Ask questions later. Okay, let's see if we can get her to kill this turret. Let's get into here. 
Vigilance, Confirmé, et Blasté. Not quite. Wish we had uh, multi-target, but whatever. Burn! This on See ya. Target destroyed. Three turrets down. Barrage coming in a second. I don't think it'll kill that building, but do some damage. Ooh, that guy took 26 damage from landmines. How do we do in the building? A little bit of damage. Not a lot. Yes, I want these all killed. Turrets included. Let's get it. Let's get this done. Waiting for orders. You're our building guy. Let's get over here. Get on this building. Uh, probably Inferno's better. Roger. Nice. That guy can dish out some good damage when he's in close, but he's got to get close to be able to do it. Let's just reserve you for a second. Want to see where we're at with, uh, once the archer and these guys have fired. How can I, help? I don't think you need to move. Just save our... Beautiful chances to hit. Nice. Confirm. Take that as a lesson. I don't know if we got a chance to kill it with her. Um, no point in putting us in danger. It is it is 30 rounds of dead fire, so... Beautiful. There you go. There it is, folks. All right, contract payment increased by 30, 40, 50 percent, plus 2,500, another 13 percent. So that's nice. That's really nice. So it's planetary government. We're against 40, or sorry, uh, 400,000. And it looks like our rep has gone up with the pirates. Archer getting plenty of kills here. But then again, the, those LRM 40s are doing good damage. The Dervish, we need to get some incendiary for the Dervish. I think we pull out the Thunder, put in an incendiary. Because, uh, I mean, it, after all, it is an LRM. Technically, it's an LRM 35, and this is an LRM 40. So, I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. we have to find some incendiary ammo, though. Okay, so, we could take this Centurion. One ballistic, two laser, and four missile. Black wheel Gauss rifle. That's a full Gauss at 15 tons. The light Gauss rifle is what, 12? Yeah, see, you know, the range is nice on this. But here's here's my here's my disapproval of this. It's got beautiful range, but how often do we engage at 1,000 meters? It's very rare. Our optimal range is around 600, right? So optimal at 510 is not bad, but our optimal range is around 600 meters. So... For an extra three tons, 20 more damage, range of 900 meters, one evasion pips ignore, plus one accuracy. We're better off going with this than we are with this. I don't know. Mortars, oh, a rotary five. 25 times three, eh? Recoil of three. Select fire one to six shots. Okay, 25 damage each. So they've dropped the damage for the racks. Rotary 2 used to do 25 damage each, didn't it? Or 20 damage? They used to do 40 damage, I think, for the regular racks, or 45. So that's probably a good move. I mean, the, the double rotary autocannon 5 Orion was, like, brutal. The heat is 6, though, so it's nothing. 10 tons. See, that's even better, like... Maximum range of 600 meters, right? Optimal is 300. 
you know you get a pilot with plus 10 percent range so 660 meters max 330 optimal i don't know maybe maybe endo we've got lots of another artemis that would be nice for the um if we can get some artemis ammo for the dervish but i think in this case i think our best chance of getting some good stuff is taking that centurion I mean, we could take a few components here or there. How much, what ammo do we have down here? Artemis LRM ammo. Deadfire LRM. I think the Dervish is probably functioning oak. Like, I mean, we could take the... We could try to upscale the Dervish by going fire control system Artemis. You know, taking the two... Well, we could just take the two Artemis ammo and drop it into the uh, uh, Archer. Well, we got four slots. Let's roll the dice. There's four pieces of Centurion. The Bushwhacker's there, but there's only three pieces. And we need gear. So let's go this route and see how it works out. Okay, we got two bushwhacker parts. That's really nice. If we get a bushwhacker, that's an immediate upgrade. We got another light Gauss rifle. I'm most likely going to end up selling these. Like I said, the weight for what we, for what it's going to give us 50 damage, and it's not even that accurate. It's not. It's not. We got the rotary five. Battle computer recoil. A couple more cores. Some ferro fibers. We've got Gauss ammo. Finally, regular LRM ammo. Rack five ammo. Okay, 25 shots. So 50 shots if we put two tons of rack ammo in. You know, we could run the Rotary 5 on the uh, Centurion that we have. But let's see the guy we've got. Because that's only 10 tons. Okay, 24,000. Nothing. That's really nothing. As most of that's on the men shin. we got to do something about this guy. We either have to really up his speed to get him in closer, faster, or which we can't do because, I mean, other than using like a mask or a supercharger... Because he's because it's an Omni Mac, he's got a fixed uh, core. I mean, it's relatively fast, but not that fast. I don't know. Okay, let's go to the mech base. See what the Centurion is. Come on, buddy. Let's see what we got here. Mediums. Centurion. Here it is. Let's see what we got. Maybe we get. You know, the other thing is maybe we pull the mention of the service and bring the Centurion in. Depending on how this guy is, we can run with the Rack Five. It's got two laser points too. Wow. Well, we got the fire control system Artemis out of this. That's it. F me. I don't know, is it better to keep the one that we have with the ballistics here and here and then two missile launchers? Where are the lasers on this? One in the center torso, one in this torso. Five hundred thousand for repair. Oh, it's just painful. No core, no nothing. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna wait. I can't. I can't do the five hundred thousand right now. We'll wait. Um, let's let it sit for now. Let me think about it. I don't know. Throw. Your, I'll leave it up for now. Throw your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. Um, this is this is actually being re recorded two days ahead of when it will be seen. Um. And I'm pro most likely recording a few more episodes, so I'll just hold on to it. I'll let it sit there, give you guys a chance to make some comments. So keep in mind that most likely the couple of episodes after you see this one, it'll still be sitting like this, and then I'll make changes based on your comments. So I'll give you a couple of days to make some comments on it. I don't know. Ah, it's a really tricky situation. But I think we're going to jump off this planet and make some minor adjustments. Look for a planet close by, still around two-skull planet, and then see what we get. 
I mean, I'll probably, you know what we'll do right now though? Let's go to uh, here. Let's pull this Artemis off. I mean, it's really the only component that's on here anyway. There's like nothing else. We'll just pull it off and confirm for a thousand. Sure. Because we might use that. I don't know yet. If we get ammo over the next little bit, Artemis ammo, then we can go ahead and put it on somebody. I mean, we could put it on the Dervish for clustering. Take the fire control system missile, put it on the Menchian. I don't know. Because we could switch this guy from a SRM, close SRM build to a LRM build. Maybe pull a dead fire off of the Dervish and put it onto this guy. This guy. Excuse me. Because we picked up a couple of LRM 10s. It's 10 tons though. I don't know. Let me think about it. Uh, but I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, please drop your comments in the comment section down below. I always love the comments. And if I miss your comment, I always try to read everybody's comment. I drop a like and a heart on it. I always try to read everybody's comment. But if I miss your comment, I apologize. I do try to keep, get to everybody. Um, but if I, if, it just, if I miss it, I, I apologize. All right. So until next time, we'll see you later.